Hey, what's up everybody and welcome to another session here on the Invictus Active Trainer. In today's session, we are going to be doing a thing called every minute on the minute and we're going to be doing it for 20 minutes. So how this works is that every start of each minute in this 20 minutes, we are going to be doing 50 pushes and however much time you've got remaining within that minute, that is your rest. So let's say you do 30 seconds, you do you put 50 pushes in 30 seconds, you get 30 seconds rest. If you're doing 40 seconds, you get 20. If you're doing 20, you get 40, you get the point. And as soon as that next minute comes around, we go again, 50 pushes. And again, and again, all the way up to 20 rounds. It's pretty simple. Uh, if you wanna do this in your own time, you can have a rolling clock. I always recommend doing something with a second hand so you can see when you're close to the finish of the minute, so you can get going again. I'm using a timer that I've got on my phone here that you can set up something like this with and I can always give the links to the guys so you can find this out too. Pretty simple, we've got a 10 second timer. You should be able to pick this up. Tell you what, I'll turn it up a little bit more. So hopefully the microphone will pick up the sounds here. But yeah, we're gonna go in 10 seconds here, 50 pushes and then resting up until the minute. We ready? 10 seconds to go. Get yourselves ready, get yourselves in position. In five, four, off we go. So the quicker you go, the more rest you're gonna get. Slower you go, the least rest you'll get. That's halfway, I was just over 30 seconds. We've got about, well we've got 22 seconds left of this rest before we're going again. Good work, and you feel like you wanna do more pushes, then you can do more, you can do 60, 70, totally up to you here. 10 to go, in five, four, three, off we go. Good work. Keep it going. Halfway there. 50, just making it around 30 seconds at the moment. So that's two rounds done. 18 more to go. So this work out here is really great for picking up that speed work that we want to get here. You know, you go, go as quick as you can, get that in, get your rest in, and then go again. Really fantastic way to get the heart rate up and to get those calories burning. Anyway, three, two, one, off we go. Fifty. Halfway there. Good work. Thirty seconds of that rest. Seventeen more sets to go. Excellent work. So try and pick up that pace. Go as quick as you can, and get more rest in. Obviously, if you go slower, you're going to get less rest. But there's not that much rest here anyway. It's all about speed, and then not much rest as well. Anyway, five seconds to go. You ready? Two. One, off we go.
good work so far. That's four rounds done. Excellent stuff. So you won't hear me talking much because I'll be counting during the, uh, the 50. So you won't hear much talking from me then. I'll talk to you guys in these breaks and give you some additional info so you can make your own one to these again in the future. Anyway, ready? Two, one, off we go. Good stuff. Let's keep that up. So here, there's lots of variables that we can change to change this session up. With the timer I've got, you can adjust what, how long the interval is. You can do it 30 seconds. You can do it a minute, 45 seconds, all the in increments in between. 10 seconds. And you can choose how long you do the session for. So timing wise, there's lots of variety here that you can do. I mean, three, two, one, off we go. Good stuff, that's six rounds done, 14 to go. So if you want to do this, you know, 30 seconds and every 30 seconds you change, you can do that on this app or on a rolling clock and you do maybe 20 pushes, and you, you know, let, you know it's, the turnaround's a lot quicker. You can do it two minutes and do like 100 pushes, that kind of thing. So yeah, adjusting those times is a really great way to mix this session up a bit. Two, one, off we go. Excellent, seven sets done. The other thing we can do is obviously change the amount of pushes we're aiming for. So if this is too easy for you, you can step it up, do 60, 70, 80 within that minute. Maybe even do it so you're getting hardly any rest at all each time. Maybe you're only trying to get five, 10 seconds rest, you know, trying to get like a hundred pushes seconds. in or something. Lots of ways you can make this really tough. And then obviously the opposite, will make it easier. So you can do less pushes as well. Two, one. Off we go. And then you can add in the weights that are on the Invictus Active Roller. We'll talk about it in a minute. Try not to lose count here. Good work. So they've got the weight sets here. You've got the light, the medium, and the heavy weights. You can add a couple on, make it even heavier if you need to. That adds that resistance. So each push is harder as well. Obviously you can take them off as well and it makes each push easier. And you can play around with all these variables, times, the amount of pushes, the amount of resistance you're using, and really come up with a custom workout that works for you. Ready, three, two, one. Off we go.
Good work, everybody. Feel free to adjust this as you go through the set as well. You know, if you're feeling like, you know, you get to like, we're on nine now, we're about to start 10. If you get halfway, you know, you know what? I think I could do more. Or you know what, this is a little bit too much. Adjust it as you go along, that's totally fine. No worries there. So if you want to start doing 60, do 60. If you want to do 40, do 40. Do what works for you. <clears throat> okay, three, two, one, off we go. Good stuff. Just my uh, grips are coming a little bit loose. So I haven't got much hand function myself, so I've got these rib grips on to help with the grip. Just helps me out. You can use gloves if you need to use gloves or whatever. Just to add that extra bit of grip helps, might help you out to be able to perform some of these. That's halfway through the set now. Two, one, off we go. Start a little bit earlier. <laughs> Excellent. So that was set number 11, nine more to go. And obviously guys, if you wanna do just 10 rounds, if you wanna do 15, 20, and you can do more, you can do 25, 30, you know, to make it, uh, you know, if you wanna do it for a whole hour, you can do it for a whole hour. You can mix and match within there, so you can start with doing 50 reps, 60, 70, however you want. Off we go. So on that one, just extended my uh, each stroke. So on the previous one, I was sort of just going here, small ones, but on that one, I was coming back a bit more. Obviously each stroke takes a little bit longer and you can adjust accordingly as well. Whatever is right for you, especially if you're doing this for a sport, you might wanna do the same motion you will do in your sport, whether that's rugby, tennis, basketball, racing. Off we go. <laughs> Excellent. That is 13 rounds done. Seven more to go. Excellent, right. 10 seconds. 10 seconds, and we're going again. Good stuff, such relentless this workout. You just gotta keep going each time. Two, one, off we go.
good stuff. Halfway there. So this kind of workout is really great if you are somebody who does sports, like I said, rugby, basketball, tennis, um, maybe not so much wheelchair racing unless you're a sprinter. But these are fantastic for that because it's short bursts and when we're on the court, um, whatever court it might be, you are doing high, high intensity and then low intensity, high, low, like, so you sprint, stop, sprint, stop. And that's kind of the, the benefit of this workout. So if you are a sports person, this is really great. Off we go. Good work. There. Whew, that is 15 rounds done. We are almost done with this session. Let's make these last couple of rounds here some really good ones, okay? Excellent stuff. Another 15 seconds here with the rest. Good work, everybody. 10 seconds. Alrighty. In four, three, two, one. Off again. Good stuff. Good work, everybody. Let's make these last four here. Really, really good. Alrighty. So you got 20 seconds left for the rest. If you're just holding in there, just, you know, just get in there right to the end. You can do this, guys. Well done. 10 seconds. 10 seconds. In three, two, one, off we go. Good work, 17 done. Closing in on the finish now. So I'll give you a little recap towards the end of how you can adjust these sessions as well to make it unique for you. Because everybody's obviously at different levels, different ability levels, different levels in their fitness journey. So it's all good. We can adjust, adapt, change, change it to you. Three, two, one, off we go. <laughs> Fifteen, no, eight. Halfway there. Eighteen done. <laughs> Not fifteen. Two more sets to go. Excellent. So let's keep this good effort up. Keep that pacing the same as well. Try not to drop off if you ha if you can. In four, three, two. One, off we go. there. 
one more set to go. Great job, everyone. Last bit now, last bit of effort. Let's make it a good one, hey? Just over 10 seconds. 10 seconds. Are we ready? In five, three, two, one. Off we go. That is it now. We just let the rest come up and then we will get talking about how we can adjust that session to make it unique for you. Just recapping what we've already talked about. I'm assuming it's gonna make some noise. Let's just pause it, eh? All right, there we go. All right, so that was the session done today. Let's recap of what we did before we can say what we can do to adapt it. So we did a 20 minute workout on every minute we did 50 pushes and we rested for the rest of that minute and then went again on the next minute. The faster you go, the more rest you get, the slower you get, the least rest you get. And then how you can adapt it for you, for your own sessions is really, really simple. So you can adjust the timings first. So let's talk about um, the amount of time that each round is so you can adjust it. So you can have, you know, even as low as sort of 15 seconds, 20, 30, 40, you know, up to a minute and then even past a minute as well. You can have two minute rounds, three minute rounds, uh, and then you put a different amount of pushes in that round. Then the other thing you can change is to change the amount of rounds you're doing uh, and the amount of length of time it is. So obviously if you're doing 30 seconds round, you do 20, it's gonna be 10 minutes instead. So you might wanna increase that and do more within there. Or you can do it for a half an hour session, an hour session, and you can adapt and change it and have that any way you want there. Then the other things to do is to change your pushing speed. So you can go faster or slower. You can do longer pushes or shorter pushes. You can add the resistance on or take it off. There's so many variables here. So you just have to see each one of the variables and adjust it to make it unique for you. And it's super simple to do. Uh, and the more you do it, the more you learn of where your limits are and what you can do. Um, but I'd recommend giving this session maybe another try, maybe doing it with more um, and trying to get, you know, a little bit less rest in there. Maybe get it so you're only getting sort of 10 seconds rest in. If you want to try that out, that'll be a pretty tough session. Um, and you can do it where you've got longer as well. So you may be doing it for three minutes, but you're doing like 150 pushes or something. And then seeing where you are on that, get a little bit more rest. Depends on what you want to do. So yeah, that's it for today, guys. I hope you did enjoy that. And um, be sure to check out the other videos I've got on the Invictus Active Trainer, and I'll see you in one of those. Bye, guys.